Now to Lalcombe, you have brought us two new operators. Now the community got a look at Oryx earlier on this week and they loved him, yeah? I think they want to know a little bit more about him. Well, this guy is super impressive. You see him, he got this physique, but we do not know a lot about this guy. He went off the grid for 15 years. Uh, he did completely disappeared. Uh, but we do know some few key points for, about him. He's a pretty good marksman. Uh, he, do, he does some tactical driving. He's well-versed in martial arts, and he comes from Jordan. And how did he get involved in Rainbow Six? Well, he showed up in front of Kaid's fortress. Uh, he wanted to get in there and get some directions. Yeah. So, but Kaid being the man that he is, he made him wait a couple of weeks outside, test his resolve, and see how how he is. The long game. Exactly. And he finally took him in as a cadet, and he quickly grew up in ranks and became his second tro uh, most trusted uh, advisor. Well, he seems like a great pickup, but uh, tell me what he brings to the table as an operator. He brings in the Remadash. Uh, as you can see, it's an, ab an ability, just like Kavira. It's not a gadget uh, a tool that you use. The Remadash has three noticeable use. The first one is a quick dash forward, which is the bread and butter of the ability. The second part is going through soft surfaces. It allows him to create some rotation holes and new paths to you can get in the way of the attackers. The third part is actually climbing up the hatches, a bit similar to what we have with Amaru, but this time he can actually hang around, peek, notice, uh, check if it's safe, and go up uh, on the floor above. Yeah, he really treats the map like his playground. He can bust through whatever he wants. He has fun all over the different levels. So what was the, the thought behind adding an operator who can do what Oryx can do? Exactly. It's been a while since we did a proper roamer. So we brought him all the tools he needs to be a pain for the attacker. So he, everything about him is, all, is about the ruthless aggression, just moving around the map and being in your face. So he definitely wanted to get a new roamer in there. Let's take um, maybe a look at his loadout next and uh, tell me what you thought to add with him? Uh, Oryx is a two-speed, two-armor operator. He brings in the SPAS-12, which is super great if you want to be in your face with the attackers. Or you got the MP5, which is more reliable for mid-range, but he does not bring an ACOG with, uh, with his MP5. On the secondary part of his uh, weapons, we got the Bailiff Fortem, which is super useful if you want to open the hatches and make use of the ability. Or you got the USP-40, which is more about reliability. Well, and tell me a little bit about his secondary gadgets here as well. We, like we said, we wanted a uh, roamer, so we br uh, brought him the barbed wires, which is super great to have sound cues and slowing down the attackers. Or we have the uh, bulletproof cam that is really good to know if you can actually go up of a, a level. Well, this is a really nice kit, a very strong looking operator. So I'm wondering uh, what is going to counter an operator like Oryx? Uh, since he's a roamer, you want to bring tools that is really good uh, at stopping roamers. So first of all, we got gridlock, not only it's good to cut off rotations, but it will stop him in his tracks. It will completely stop the dash and it will stop him there. The second good counter that you can bring is Lion. The EE1D will spot him when he dashes around because it's a move. And the third one would be the air jab. When he dashes forward, it will get interrupted and push back with the air jab. And who's Oryx gonna be a, a really strong pick against? Well, there's something I didn't mention about the um, the Remadash, it's it, uh, actually pretty good at pushing back uh, attackers if it uh, bumps into them. So it will also include shield operators and fully extended Montang. So no longer you will be stuck in a 1v1 with a Montang that looks at you and look at the diffuser being diffused. Yeah, you're going to knock him right on his butt. Exactly. Well, we've talked about the brawn of the operations. Now let's talk about the brains you're adding. Yena has...